Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right before I start, I just want to say that if you would like to support the channel, you can do so through buymeacoffee.com. There, you can make donations to the channel and you can also suggest stories as well. I'll be putting a link in the description below. So again, if you want to donate to the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com. My dad had bought a house straight up from cash, just out of a whim. He had surprised me and my two other siblings, so it was a step up from the slums for sure. He came across some money which he wouldn't explain, and I shouldn't care how so, but that's not the point. All he told us was that the house was for cheap and got a good deal for it. The only catch was that it needed some repair work, and my dad was a carpenter. He could fix it up, no problem at all. It was his thing. I, being the older child of the three, I had to help in it, and I wasn't too bad at it myself. It took a few months to complete the work since I was still in school, so it became a weekend project for the two of us while the young ones played and did their own thing. My brother, Tim, was always the goofy one and always laughing, playing practical jokes, and was the laugh of the family. Always wanted to be a comedian, as he says. But he started to change after the first month we moved it in, and did the work. His jokes became less and less, and he grew mean to our younger sister. He began to swear and have random outbursts, fits of rage that would land him in trouble with our father. Of course, he would be disciplined and had his toys taken away, which would just make things worse. We had no clue as to why he was acting this way. His health started to drop and even so, we asked why he was being like this. There were a few times he would seem like he wanted to speak up and tell us, but he would just stop mid-sentence, throw a fit. One night, as our father was out working late, I was with the kid and Tim started to act up. I called in my father cause this anger was becoming destructive like never before. It didn't take too long for our father to get home, and when he did, he found Tim sitting on his bed, which was pushed away from the wall, and seen he had been attacking one certain spot on the wall, scratches and dents along with red marks from his crayon, drawn in circles, could be seen. My father managed to calm him down as he cried uncontrollably in his arms. I stood against the door frame, watching the whole thing as something told me that he was trying to tell us something. That weekend, I suggested that the youngings be sent to our aunt for the night, and my dad agreed. He seemed alright at my aunt's, or so she says. He was his normal self, and I was happy to hear that. When I knew me and dad were alone, I went down to the shed and grabbed a sledgehammer. As he watched what I was about to do, he looked at me like I was crazy as I took the first swing. What the hell are you doing, boy? I looked at him and kept swinging till there was a two-foot hole in the wall. I pushed out another foot of drywall off and grabbed a flashlight. Dad stood over my shoulders as I shined the light into the darkness and we both instantly stepped back in fear. My dad pulled me back and he grabs a huge piece of wall and rips it back along with some pieces of wood and that's where it was. A mummified hand falls out with three fingers curled and the index finger pointing out. We pulled the rest of the wall back to find the rest of the body and found it had been a female. Dad immediately called the cops and they came with a forensics team to investigate everything which took a few days. Turns out that the woman had been murdered in Tim's room and her remains were sealed. What really disturbed me was the fact that her hand, her pointing finger, was right where Tim's head would be when he slept. When we asked him about what was going on with him, he didn't hesitate to tell us. The woman in the wall talks to me. She kept tapping on the wall when I tried to sleep, but she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't stop until I helped her, but I couldn't tell anyone. She choked me. We never knew anything, even as he tried to tell us. That was the cause of his outburst and acting differently. As we grew up, 
Tim just kind of forgot the whole thing and we never mentioned it. We moved it out of the house soon after that and everything went back to normal. Me and dad brought it up sometimes but that's it. We never knew how the woman was killed or who did it. We were just glad Tim is okay and we're out of that house.